So recently I've been looking a lot into video synthesis and visual glitch art and came across a schematic for the dirty video mixer. This is a very easy circuit to make but I wanted to try to spice it up a bit with some spare components I had lying around. How a dirty video mixer typically works is simple. It's two inputs running straight through a 1k potentiometer and straight to an output. The two input signals are fighting each other and mismatching impedances and creating all sorts of problems which results in a dirty video full of glitches. But what if we take this simple circuit and expound upon it by adding even more ways to control the glitches, such as Vactrals, which are basically light-dependent resistors, heat-shrinked around LEDs, as well as kill switches. I'm also really big on upcycling and recycling, because for one, it saves a lot of money, and two, it's better for the earth. So in this build, as well as many of the upcoming projects on my channel, I want to try to make it a point to use mostly junk drawer and scrap bin components, just to show you guys that you don't have to spend a lot of money doing this, and you can also do it in an eco-friendly way. And with all that being said, I think it's time to finally get into the build. These are just like flickering candle LEDs, like the uh, tea light candles and they flicker so i thought it would be cool to make kind of like a mode that you can put this thing into so you don't have to twist the knob and it can just kind of uh, go on its own um and then i had i got this entire jar of arcades which is for 25 cents at a uh, ham radio swap meet um, i know nothing about ham radios i just went and found these and then also all of these random knobs uh, I got for the same price. Um, and I thought those would be cool to just mess around with as well. Maybe find a cool knob for it. And then I have this scrap piece of mahogany. Basically the rest of this is junk. Like uh, these are just, you know, whatever. I'm, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna build this thing with fourth jacks and then use these little converters to convert it to 3.5 millimeter. And I think I'm gonna rip the ends off these and wire them up to these. All right, so I think that I have the holes uh, pretty much drilled to size, but just to make sure, uh, I wanna test fit everything. Oh, you know what? Uh, yeah, that would be pretty cool because like channel, like you're switching between channels or something. Yeah, I think we'll go with that one. So I think now I'm kind of just going to take like a short break and uh, figure out exactly what I want to do with this like top because like this mahogany actually looks pretty cool with like, um, you know, these knobs and the switches and everything. So I think I'll probably take some wipe on poly and uh, you know wipe some of that on there just a couple layers just to kind of protect this a little more you know it'll also you know darken this up some and I'll, I think it'll look pretty nice so I, I think I'm gonna do that and then after that I'm gonna wire everything up and we'll try it out so I just like tested out this little circuit here um, for what I want to do with the video mixer. So each one of these white LEDs will be inside of a Vactral feeding into the individual channel inputs um, of the potentiometer. And this one down here is just the flickering tea light candle one I was talking about. Um, so when I connect it, these are connected in parallel so it makes these ones flicker too. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this to the power switch and then it'll be just the normal video mixer. And then once you flip the switch, these two are controlled by this and it'll make the video glitch out, hopefully. So here it is all wired up. Here's the two inputs. Those are going directly into the Vactrals, which I don't know if I explained it before, but Vactrals are just a light dependent resistor, um, heat shrink around an LED, and then some electrical tape around it so the light doesn't bleed through into one another. But from there, we're going into the arcade kill switches. Uh, and from there, we're going into the 1K potentiometer and then into the output. 
So pretty, pretty simple. I know it looks like a lot, but it's pretty simple. I added this switch because I realized that this switch wasn't gonna work. So the flickering tea light candle uh, connects to the top here. And then the bottom, this is the voltage. And then the bottom is the, <clears throat> is the Vactral LEDs. This is the normal mode. It's just like, you know, it, it's all four of these. And then once you switch it, um, it switches up here. So the Vactral LEDs are connected in parallel with the tea light candle, which makes those flicker as well. And it makes all sorts of uh, visual glitches, which I will show you in the demo. It looks really nice. I built a little box for it. Um, used some black leather dye to dye this, like the sides and whatever. Uh, and then I just put some wipe on poly on the mahogany and it, you know, it looks retro. It looks really cool. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll plug this thing in and um, demo it out. Here's how it looks when it's all uh, plugged in and everything. It looks super cool, like with the uh, LEDs but I have it running into my um, modded GameCube over there, uh, running the old Mario Kart Double Dash. But yeah, so let's get, let's show you guys what this looks like. Uh, looks pretty bad, <laughs> but that's good. Um, the knob kind of just messes with the contrast when nothing's plugged into the other end. I, I don't know what that's about, but it's, it's cool. Uh, Kill switch does this, just these like small little, you know, glitch effects, kind of turns black and white and stuff. So that's cool. So that works pretty much exactly how I wanted it to work. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, you can see it like flickering or whatever here. Super glitchy, super cool. So there you have it guys, uh, this was a pretty awesome project, this glitchy video mixer, I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh, let me know if any of you guys build this for yourself, and I'd love to see some photos, uh, send it over on my social media, like my Instagram or something. But uh, yeah, so if you liked the video, feel free to leave a thumbs up and comment down below of what I should do next. Also subscribe to my channel, follow me on Spotify, Instagram. Just just check it all out, and I will see you guys next time.